Hello everybody, Northern Hero here. How are we all doing? For some reason, the memory in my mobile, um, you know, it's nearly full. I keep deleting things and it has got extra memory on. Um, it's got um, a memory card and um, obviously with Google I've paid extra, but memory doesn't seem to be going onto that. It always seems to be going onto my phone memory, which I'm gonna to have to sort out. So I thought I'd do a video on my GoPro camera which is going to take, um, could take a few days to get it uploaded because it all uploads automatic on a cloud, which I do pay for. Um, so we'll have to see. I'm going to be doing more videos on um, the GoPro camera. Um, bought it this year actually and not really used it much, but they are a fantastic camera. Anyway, let's get to the point. Overthinking, my friends. Is it can be very bad. We all can overthink sometimes, can't we? And in the Bible, it does say not to dwell on the past. However, certain things, such as the COVID year, was an extremely bad year. We don't really want to remember that year, do we? But overthinking about the virus, overthinking about getting out with a mask on, and that only having exercise a day, it was terrible, wasn't it? And that were a year when my dad was very, very ill. Ill. We had to have carers in and oh my gosh, I wish that year did not happen. It was absolutely awful, terrible. Um, overthinking, you know, you might have lost a loved one in your family and you might not be able to get back on track because of that. Do you know what I mean? You might be thinking about that person all the time. He or she might have died in a car crash. And you might be thinking, thinking every day, it's not leaving your mind. And Jesus wants us to be set free. He wants to set us free, my friends. And this year, I think I've been on a little bit of a dry time with God, even though I've tried a few different churches out. But I went to a prayer night with um, a friend It was at his house, actually. And he invited some people over. And this guy said to me, God's not finished with you yet. He said, I can see you preaching to people in a park. And he came over and he preached. And I tell you what, I felt the power of God. And it really uplifted my faith again. Um, you know, I've always believed in God and that, but we can go into dry times, can't we, my friends? However, um, last week at my group, um, I prayed for a woman who had a bad back. Other people did, but it was strong on my mind to pray for her. So I said to her partner, can you authorise me to pray for her back? He said, yeah. So I prayed for her back and she said she felt all heat on it. Well, that is very encouraging. I'll have to ask her how her back's um, getting on. Hopefully it's healed. Now, overthinking, we, over, we all overthink a bit, don't we? overthinking a bit too much about things work can be overthinking about work um can be too much of it in fact i need a holiday i've not really had a chance to look anything up yet um stress work and um unfortunately i've been back on dating sites which has it's been taking far too much time up i want to get back into my games and cut all these dating sites off altogether um you know, I think that's always been a big worry in my life about meeting a woman, if I'm honest. And I just feel the pain sometimes crushing on my mind. It's that bad. However, I have prayed about it. And, you know, God is in charge. It might not be the right time yet. However, this year... I have been overthinking about a certain woman who I've got friends with again. Now, we have had one or two falling outs years ago and that, but she asked me about, it was about May time, I think. Um, she messaged me to say, would I like to meet up in town and have a look at this salsa dancing? And if we're honest, I nearly said, no, well, I kind of, I just said, I'm a bit too tired. Um, I'm not sure yet. 
I've been walking. She said she's been walking. Um, and then I thought, I told my mum about it. My mum said, oh, I'd go. And then I thought, yeah, look, well, if she brings a friend. Now, obviously, this woman, the Polish woman from years ago, you know, she can be very nice, friendly, very, very attractive woman, very beautiful. She talks nice and that. But I think she can get, I don't know. Well, she, she has blocked me a few times in the past. And all right, it hasn't always been her fault. The last time we fell out, it was my fault. But she was a bit abrupt when I asked her a question, if I remember. And I think she said something like, what a stupid question. So I, th I think I told her to piss off. Um, sorry, God. And then she blocked me. Um, which I didn't think... I have said to her, we've been on a walk, we, you know, we've been out here and there, and um, I have said to her, look, if any of us, I said, I'm really sorry for falling out years ago, but if any of us do something wrong, can we talk about it? Because blocking is, I mean, I've been good to her, you know, um, took her to places and that and stuff, and I think people can forget that on how kind I can be. Um, anyway, went out, met, met her in town, and this salsa dancing thing finished, but it, it were a bit rowdy, and, um, oh my gosh, I can't stop thinking about her, she looked absolutely beautiful, um, I got gobsmacked, even, we went into a few places, and um, it was too rowdy and she didn't want to go there. So we went into a quiet oriental place and um, she sat down and she says, come here, come here, come in, sit here. Like right next to her. And I thought, oh my gosh, I really fancy you again. I never thought I would fancy her again. Anyway, not long after that, um, went out for a group meal which she's part of a social group which i'm part of and um, don't get me wrong she she's been going there i've been seeing her probably last two years but last year i didn't really fancy i thought i'm a bit wary about her kind of thing and uh, i thought no but for some reason i've really fancied her again i mean it's only natural isn't it to fancy the opposite sex sometimes she's an older woman an older woman than me um you know, but I'm, I don't care how old women are, you know, if I fancy them, then fair enough, you know. Um, but, and then she, she made a request of going for some somewhere to eat. The pub, you know, a pub meal, and I thought, oh my gosh, she's liking me. And after that lunch, she, oh, she mentioned something about maybe going, I don't know if it were that time, going dancing, wanting to go and see like a bigger state out in the country. I mean, to anybody else, that really seems to me that she is interested, but only interested, in, but unfortunately only interested like friendship. Um, to be quite honest, <sighs> I was getting my hopes up and I've got to be careful not to keep overthinking and I have been on dating sites because I want to try and overcome this. Um, in fact, when we went, when I was driving to the pub, I prayed out loud in the car, if she's not meant to be Lord, then move her away. I don't want to be fancying a woman who's not for me. Although I think God's probably put her into my path to give me some advice, help me with this and that. And she has been quite helpful here and there, don't get me wrong. But I think for me, I'd like something else rather than being just her friend. Do you know what I mean? She had a very, I think she had a bad marriage years and years ago and I don't think she wants to get married again. You know, fair enough, people are different, aren't they? Um, but she is a very strong Christian. Um, anyway, when we went for the pub meal, um, but at that time, but at that time, let me think.
Yeah, I think it was. Actually, I can't remember if it was... Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was when us two went. And I bought her the meal that time. Although she... She has got me something back after, anyway. Um, I said to her in the car when I were dropping her off, I really like you. <laughs> um, I want to go out with her. You know, fair enough, it's only natural, isn't it, to ask women out if you're a man. Um, she did say something like, um, it'll spoil the friendship, which, and then she said, I'm seeing someone. Um, she's always seeing male friends and that and stuff. Um, you know, I suppose it's good to have connections with people and seeing people rather than being depressed and not getting out at all, isn't it? So, fair enough. Um, so I did my bit and then went on a walk around a reservoir and um, been going to church with her, her decision if I fancy trying some different churches out because she was getting a little bit fed up of her church um, but every time I see her I just really fancy her I can't help it I don't know if it's demonic or what or in fact I'll pray now because obviously I have been overthinking and I don't think it's healthy to keep overthinking about it so in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for that woman that Polish woman, and I pray, Lord God, um, that she'll have a great life and that, but I just pray, Lord God, if me and her aren't meant to be, then I pray, Lord God, that you will um, move us apart, and, um, but maybe we still can be friends, but maybe not see each other often, or maybe, Lord, if by any chance that we are, meant to be but it might not be the right timing then i'll pray lord god that you will help each other and strengthen each other's spirits and um i pray that the friendship will get stronger and better amen and um it's certainly good to pray for these things isn't it but um like i said went on a walk with her in the summer when it was hot it was after church went we didn't have a good walk this day, but my gosh, golly. Her legs. I mean, I shouldn't be lusting, but I really felt like feeling her legs. I wonder what she'd have done if I'd have just stroked my leg. No, sorry, stroked my hand on her leg. She might have enjoyed it. You know, it's nice to have a nice relaxing massage, isn't it, I think. I, I won't complain if um, an older woman were taking me uh, and, she's, and she says, mm, you've got lovely legs, haven't you? Well, I know that's my arm, but I'm, I'm not doing that because the camera isn't on, is it? Um, I'd, I'd, I'd certainly enjoy it. You know, I'd, um, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong in doing that. Um, she she did I, I did I did I have asked her out twice and then I think I sent her a message and then she said she sent me a big message saying I am quite fussy blah 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 I like you as a friend blah 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 kind of thing it wasn't an exact no um but I saw her on Sunday and the only problem is is that she's meeting guys off the internet meetups on that and on Sunday she was telling me that she met up with a guy night before the day before they went salsa dancing but she did say to me she didn't go to sleep till half four she had a pizza till late and I thought hmm strange I wonder if he went round to hers and um, you know I'm not judging but it's not good to judge but I was just wondering if um, they got up to something Obviously, she won't tell me. Um, and I think that's the issue, because I think people in church are probably looking at me and her thinking, we're a couple. You know, in a way, do I feel good about that? No, not really. I saw the leader. The leader nodded and um, smiled. But really, 
and it was a good church service as well. It wasn't the leader preaching, it was somebody else, but I thought, hmm, really enjoyed it, and she really enjoyed it, and all. And she's wanting to be part of a home group there. So, I'll be seeing her in the in a social group one day a week, church, and if we get involved in a home group, so I'll be seeing her quite a bit. But if she's meeting guys, um, in fact, she's, she, in fact, when we went to the reservoir, she said, um, do you know something? I was just about to put my arm around her. And she says, um, I've joined um, a, non, a non-Christian dating site. In fact, I've got a date um, with a guy, such and such and such. Day. I forgot what it were now. I went, all oh, right. Because I was getting my hopes up thinking, oh, yes, she's um, slowly changing her mind. All right, in reality, she's probably a bit too good for me. I wish she... You know, I'm local, she is. Um, but she did say that um, she went on a walk with a guy and he wanted to go back to a flat, but he had kids, so she weren't too bothered about him. Um, but I think this is a problem. You know, I'm not judging, and it's definitely good to make connections, but I think because she's good looking and that, she's gonna get offers, especially from non-Christians. So if people could pray about that, that would be fantastic. I don't think it's good. You know, it's certainly good to meet different people. And I think because of that, I thought, oh, I'm going to go back on them. Um, I'm going to go back on dating tonight then. Um, so I've been... I'm not going back on them again. It stresses me. Stress, disappointment... They don't message back frequently. Um, the conversations seem to fizzle out. Um, I've been talking to one or two. In fact, one woman, oh, she said she were Christian on another site. In fact, by the way, I've spent a lot of money. I've spent probably about, I'd say about 100 quid total. Went back on a Christian one. I've highlighted my profile twice for 24 hours. That's 15 quid, that. Beginning it year, I had loads of likes. But um, I think I had a better photo on my profile, but not as many this time, which is a bit strange. Anyway, I tried another one, which you can search for Christians on there. There's a lot of Christians on there. Um, and that, that isn't cheap. Plus, I've highlighted my profile quite a few times on there. Um, but I just find it hard work. Um, really, really hard work and it's definitely it's not my thing anymore I don't think I can't cope with it don't get me wrong I've had a few in fact one woman she were into astrology even though she were a Christian and she only wanted to date a man of four different star signs and um, she sent friendly to begin with um, and she sent me a number and I thought mm, good profile oh Christian you know, but she's probably involved in that. I thought, hmm, perhaps God could help me, could help her through me. I don't know. But um, that seems to have fizzled out. We're not... So I sent her a message the other day and she sent me a picture um, where she were at, what, on a walk or something. Um, what else now? Oh, yeah, that were it. Anyway, on this other dating site, I told the Polish lass that I've noticed this lass from, from church who I spoke to, um, well, years and years ago. And um, the Polish lass says, um, oh, yeah, why don't you message her? Why don't you message her? I went, no, I'm not sure. I've messaged her before. Anyway, when I met the other day, and the Polish lass said, um, have you sent her a message yet? And I, I weren't going to when I thought, I might say that. I said, I said to her, well, she, she's part of church, she's a strong Christian woman, and it's a strong Christian woman that I want to be with, you know, if I can, you know. Um, so I said, oh, I'll message her. And it weren't just, hello, how's your day been? It was, I did put a few lines in. Um, I was going to mention something else, but I thought now, if she, if she responds, then I'll mention there's something else. 
Um, but that was Sunday evening, and now we're on Wednesday, so this video might not get uploaded today, by the way, because I've got a few other things on which needs to be uploaded, and like I said, it goes onto a cloud. It automatically uploads on a website, so I don't know. It might be it might be at weekend when I actually upload it onto YouTube, but because it's 4K, it's going to take ages, isn't it? Isn't it? Um. Anyway, so you've heard my story, and by the way, yeah, this lass. Um. Oh yeah. So yeah. So she's not meant to be They're from church from years ago who well, I mentioned who well, I went up to that time yeah so we're on uh, this other one as well as a Christian one but I thought I'd mes message her on this um, it's a very popular dating site and you can search for Christians on it which is good um, I don't think I'd go out with an atheist woman a woman that says atheist clearly no agnostic yeah because they're a bit unsure if God exists and that and um, they might be a little bit easy going, but some atheists, no, some of them won't change at all. In fact, some atheists are really bad when it comes to them um, um, expressing the views. They really try and force it down you. Um, oh, yeah, God doesn't exist, God doesn't exist. And I thought, now I can't cope with that. So uh, atheists, women, atheists, you know, I don't, definitely don't go for them. Um, unless if they're sending me a message first and maybe interested in me then I don't know, it's a possibility that but I don't know um, but yeah, but this woman this Polish woman, gosh golly she is absolutely beautiful and I think I've been overthinking a little bit too much wondering and hoping that she's going to get back to me thing, saying um Oh, okay, I remember what you said that time. Fancy giving it a try. I mean, to be honest, we'd probably be seeing each other a little bit more. Um, probably a little bit more, you know, hugging, holding hands. Uh, maybe a little kiss now and again. And um, maybe she could invite me to a flat and I could give her a nice foot massage or something. She she might enjoy that. I'd enjoy it as well. As long as she's had a shower before, because um, smelly feet are horrible. Um, however, she's messaged me tonight saying um, she's seen her ex-boyfriend on Saturday. And I thought, hmm, he's not coming over here for an hour and a half chatting a cafe. I thought, hmm, I bet he's going back to her place. You know, fair enough. But, um, and I've prayed about it. So, if she's not meant to be, then... I hope, in fact I had a prophetic word for her the other day, it was a powerful vision what came to me. It is private so I'm not going to say, but God has got something for her but she needs to get rid of something basically in her life, what she's probably holding on to. Um, anyway, let's change subject. Um, well, like I said, for some reason I don't know what it is, but I have been overthinking. And she is absolutely beautiful. Um, she wears lovely clothes, nice clothes. She's got nice hair. A voice, goodness me, when she talks. I never thought I'd fancy her again. So I don't know if it's God doing something. You know, we obviously have forgiven her. Um, which we have, we've got, we've got to do that. We are brothers and sisters of Christ. But um, in fact, she, she has told me that God wants her to settle. But I think at the moment she enjoys having dates and that. Um, but hopefully one day, you know, I don't want to focus on her too much. So. I'm deciding to have other options. And I had an option a few years ago. Not really going into detail with this, but um, 
I did mention it to her, and she says that woman would definitely, um, like, um, try and, I forgot word now what she said, like, um, fancying me, trying to make me, they were a woman, and she had like, um, a swim suit on, like, you know, swimsuit on but um her breasts were extra were sticking out and i was a bit worried and she kept doing like that and smiling at me i were extremely knackered that day i'm tired you were at work and um she asked me for a drink and i said no but next time i saw her she was looking right miserable and i thought mm, i bet because she split up from her husband and um i think more than likely she, but mid 50s I don't know, but, you know, I could have had a cup of tea, couldn't I? Um, I don't know, really. Wasn't meant to be, was it, really? I mean, I think sometimes, probably when I'm single, um, it's because that I've always thought, no, I want to go out with a Christian woman, want to go out with a Christian woman. And, um, even in bars years ago, when women have women have fancied me, I've never gone up to them because I've had a thought, oh, look, well, if they're not Christian. But you don't know, do you? God works in mysterious ways. He might send me a woman when I'm playing pool or something. And uh, my woman might um, say, oh, that was a lovely shot. Um, well, well done. I thought, oh, yeah. Oh. And then... Um, that can start a conversation then, can't it? Um, I don't know, I mean, this Polish lass, I mean, maybe in a month I could say to her, do you fancy having a game of pool? We, were, we had a game of pool once at somebody's house and she pretty enjoyed it. She really, she thought it was great fun. I'm surprised she's not mentioned it, but because she sees a lot of guys, you see, perhaps, she do, perhaps she's had a game of pool with somebody else. Um... But she really enjoyed having a game of pool. Um, so I think if we're still friends in a month, I might suggest it. But I hope, you know, if she gets a boyfriend, fair enough. But I want people to really pray about what I've just said. Pray for me, pray for her. And um, because she sent me, she sent me a message about um weekly safe sex should be fine and i mean she hadn't had a boyfriend for about two years a year and a half i think um but i didn't see her then because she was skipping me because she knew she knows i like her because she's part of a social group so when i remember when i remembered she was going to a group and she were missing when i when i went the time after um probably didn't want to you know, discuss it with me. But she keeps telling me about guys and that, but how would it be the other way around? Say if I were really good looking and that, like a stud and that, and said, oh yeah, I met a woman called Michelle on Tuesday, um, took her for a dance, um, met up with Tanya on Thursday, um, took her for a Toby Carver, mm, really enjoyed it. And Bianca on Saturday, um, we had a salad at a Greek restaurant. Oh yeah, oh it was lovely meeting those. Do you think I'd be rubbing it in or what if she fancied me? Say if it were the other way around. Yeah, yeah, I think. And you know, I think she just sees me as a friend, and she is a friend to me. But for some reason, I can't get past that. For, you know, she was a friend a few years ago on and off, yeah. In fact, when I first met up with her, I think I fancied her for about a year and a half. And then, and then I had to let it go. For some reason now, I don't know what it is, I just can't let it go. So I think when I go to church and she's not there, I might just ask the leader to pray for me if it, if it's if it's going to carry on. So 
if people could pray about that, that would be fantastic. Um, because God wants us to be set free. Um, actually, I've already promised that I'll take her for a meal this other week. Um, so I always keep my promises. So once we have another meal together, um, I think if we're not gonna, if nothing's gonna happen, then because um, I pick her up, you see, for church and social group as well and sometimes when she's sat in the car she looks so nice i just think i mean am i slow what or does she want me to put my arm around her or would, would i receive a slap um i don't know perhaps i could have like two pints and to get me a bit more confident it's just to see on what she would do I know it's a bit of a risk, but sometimes we've got to take risks, haven't we? It's like her legs that time. I thought, bloody hell, how oh, I could feel her legs when she was in my car. <sighs> that were very tempting. But in a way, I'm glad I didn't do it. I just felt like leaning over. You know, it's natural, isn't it? In a way. And um, she might have enjoyed it, like I said, but... <sighs> Very, very tempting. Um, anyway, I thought I'd just mention this because it's very important and um, overthinking. I'm going to go back to my games, I think. Um, don't like dating sites, can't stand them. Um, you know, they are a bloody rip off. Um, I think my issue, if I lose weight, um, I think I'll probably have more hope. Um, you know, I'm not a bad guy. Um, but yeah, people that are married think you're so bloody lucky. Or are you lucky? Are you having arguments and that and stuff? You might put your photos on Facebook and that, and you might look like um, the best couple in the world. But are you hiding something? Do you need to talk to each other about what's going on? You're not enjoying um, the relationships. Now, I was speaking to a bloke earlier. And um, he's just parted from, I don't know if they were married or what. But he says, she's a psychopathic liar. He says, it was absolutely terrible living with her. He says, um, it's caught as well. He says, it's in, it's in love with James. He says, um, I, she says, she's been making things up about me with my kids he says i love my kids he says um he says whatever you do don't tell her uh, where i live i says oh wait i won't do that he said she's the worst woman i've ever met in it. and he did say my dad warned her warned me about her i went no oh, really he says ah um he weren't too fond of her so obviously it's best to be single rather than getting yourselves into a um very bad toxic he said it were toxic a toxic relationship and who knows you know there might be women in churches and that women that might seem all nicey nicer when you meet them and that and stuff um but when you tie the knot you know um sex and fun might last for about a year and then after that she might get very um angry aggressive bossy um she might be spiteful might not allow you to go out to see your friends and um actually to be quite honest it has actually put me off i don't know if i want to get married i think i'd be happy enough seeing a woman two or three days a week um maybe more let's say between two and four days a week i like my space as well um go to her house or flat she can come where i live Watch a film, go to cinema now and again, have a game, you know, play a pool, whatever, have a game of tennis. I'd like a woman who's up for tennis, to be honest. You know, gets us fit. Um, biking, um, trips out um, in the country, seaside trips out as well, weekends away, um, shoulder massages while I'm watching the snooker. That'd be bloody fantastic. Um, you know, whatever. 
But, yeah. Anyway. I need to overcome overthinking. Don't I? And there is something else connected to this. But I'm not going to mention it yet. I might mention it in January. It has blew my mind. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to mention it yet. I might mention it in January next year. I might not even mention it, but it has blown my mind a bit. Anyway, I hope everybody has a fantastic week. I'm not sure how this is going to come out because it's the first time I'm using this GoPro camera. So hopefully it might be okay. Uh, might be better than my mobile. It should be, shouldn't it? So I'll have to have a look at my mobile because my mobile keeps saying memory full on the um, on everything, you know, even though there's, there's an SD card, but everything's been saved on my phone memory, you see. So I'm going to have to try and move everything, a lot of my things onto SD card if I can. Well, I've just been deleting things, so that's been a bit stressful. And what else has been stressful? Um... People could pray about work, you know, because sometimes that can be stressful. I had cold really bad two weeks ago, and I pray that I will not have any colds and flus again this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, protect me from them. And anybody who's watching, I come against cold and flus as well for you. I pray for good health this year, that you will not get any colds and flus. If you do, you do. I mean, can't be up to can they, but... I hope nobody gets them. 